Alright guys, so what I want to do is go over basic explanation of what a carburetor does and how each of the main parts in the carburetor function and what changes to them will do. I don't want to go over specifics like choke settings or enrichment jets or stuff like that because that could be particular based on the different type of carb you've got. Um, we'll go over the basic functions of like the Makuni VM22 which is pretty common in the Boom Vader, Tau Tau Hellcats, Ice Bear Fuerzas. Um, so to begin, your carb functions off of something called a Venturi effect and what that is is as air passes over an orifice it creates a low pressure spot which will draw fuel up okay so when your throttle is completely closed your needle is going to totally block off your main jet here and only your pilot jet will function and that's via a chamber that passes through and allows air to suck fuel out from the pilot jet and into here that's into your intake into your engine what that's going to do is help you set your idle. So your idle adjustment screws are what's controlling the flow of this, this pilot jet here. Um, so if you find that you are having trouble idling, just that idle is way too lean or it needs to rev super high to run, or you need to have that screw all the way in or out, it could mean that you need to upsize or downsize your pilot jet based on what you see. Uh, next is going to be your needle. Okay, So your needle is connected to the actual throttle and as you pull the throttle back and forth, it's gonna raise the entire needle in the body up and down, okay? And what that's gonna do is also open up the passageway through your carburetor. And as that needle raises, it's gonna expose more of this main jet orifice. And so, well, like I said before, that Venturi effect is gonna draw fuel up and out. And as you get more than like three quarter throttle up to full throttle, this is gonna be totally open. And at that point, your pilot jet's not doing anything your needle jet's not doing anything, it's all your main jet. And that full control, um, all the metering comes from your main jet size. So if you're really lean up top or you're really rich up top, and we'll go over how to determine that based on what your spark plug looks like, you might have to upsize or downsize your main jet. Um, now things like your float bowl and how to set the float, that's a little bit um, more in depth than I can explain with this picture. Um, but these are gonna be your main parts and the main functions of that carburetor. So idle to quarter throttle is gonna be your pilot jet. Your quarter to about three quarter throttle is gonna be your needle setting. So if you feel like your mid-range is kind of bogging, you might want to um, raise or lower the needle and I'll go over that as I'm tuning my carb as well. And then of course, three quarter to full throttle is gonna be determined by your main jet size. So that's a quick explanation and let's get into tuning the carb. All right, so I went and did a quick rip on the bike. Um, figured out that my main like misfires and hesitation is around quarter throttle. Maybe a little bit up top, um, but I'm getting a lot of D-cell pop, uh, which makes me think that maybe the pilot jet is too small. So let's check it out. Um, what I normally do is, is go for a rip and then shut it off mid power range, wherever that hesitation is happening at. So I would go quarter throttle until the bike just wouldn't accelerate anymore and it kept popping. And then I would just shut it off at that moment. That way the spark plug will be a good tell of what is actually happening here. So. It'll either be white or really black, um, that being lean and rich accordingly, right? So it's looking maybe a little bit lean, not too bad, um, but I think I wanna mess with that pilot jet size a little bit. I might go up a size on it because it looks like it's kinda lean. Get in your home. And tighten your spark plugs, guys. Don't go too much. Just go to where it stops hand tight. Maybe get a tiny bit of snug. For this next part, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the fuel into a bottle here. On these Chinese VM22, some drains down here on the bottom. And I'll just let it go until it's empty. Decent amount of fuel in there. A lot more than I thought it was gonna hold. Once it 
stops, that means it is empty, safe to remove. Now, unfortunately on my bike, um, I don't really have the correct intake elbow. So I've got to remove the entire elbow and carburetor assembly together to get that bowl off or else it hits the head. All right, so we've got our carb out here. First thing I'm gonna do is undo these bolts on the bottom here, and that'll give me access to the jetting inside. All right, so. Here's your jetting right here. It's your pilot jet, and this is your main jet. Remember, this is your idle control and quarter throttle, and this is gonna be your uh, basically quarter to full throttle. Based on how the needle jet is moving, once it's fully opened, three quarter to full throttle, it's all the main jet that's controlling your metering. You wanna be careful whenever you're removing these um, because they are easy to damage, being that they're brass. It's a bit of a softer metal. All right. So here's kind of a close-up on the main jet. Now this is saying that it's a 38, but I don't really believe that. Um, that would be absolutely massive. Most people end up running something like a 20 main jet in these. Or pilot jet, sorry. So, I think I'm gonna start with this 100 main jet. I was looking for a 105, but I think that might be a bit too big. Um, and we wanna take small increments to see if our changes are actually making noticeable differences. Um, Cause if I were to just jump up to, you know, that 105 so quickly, I might, I might miss the optimal step. All right, now we're gonna throw the carb back on with the float bowl, fill it up with fuel again, and then see how she does. Take a look and see what change that made. My spark plug here. I did another pull at quarter throttle and then shut it off, just like before. Still looking kinda lean, yeah. Not great, but it's not terrible. So I think I might go up from that 20, maybe to like a 25, and see what that what difference that makes. Um, but the main jet felt pretty good. Um, feels like there's a little bit more power up top. I might still go up another size on that. Uh, we'll just have to check it out, keep going, keep up in the size until it starts to run worse, and then dial it back a little bit. All right, so I've done a few more changes to this. Um, I went up to a 100 main jet, and then I checked with my set of jet drills. Um, these are super handy if you don't have a lot of jets, you can just drill them out. Um, but remember, you can't undrill things. So, nice, nice to have those. Um, I actually checked with those drills, and that supposed 38 pilot jet was 
way smaller than even the 20. Um, so it's probably more like a 15. Um, it was a pretty small jet. Um, so I've got the 20 pilot jet in there and then I tested that with the 100 main jet. It was still a little boggy mid range and then up top. It was okay, but I feel like it was still lacking on power. So I raised the needle um, one notch and that is done by undoing the top of your carb here and you'll pull the actual throttle cable and jetty, or the throttle cable and the needle out. So whenever I talk about raising the needle up, this is what I mean. So we're gonna take our carb apart and then in here, make sure I catch this little retainer here. In here, you can see what I'm talking about, these notches. So whenever I say that I'm raising the, the needle up, I'm actually moving this retaining pin down one notch. And what that's effectively doing is raising the needle up as it sits in the main jet. So that's gonna allow for a little bit more fuel mid-range because uh, that's where I was feeling a lot of my bog. So that seems to have fixed that. And then I up to the 105 for the main jet. So right now I'm looking at a 20 pilot jet, raise the needle up one notch from the middle, and then a 105 main jet. And it seems to be running pretty good. So I'm gonna check the spark plug now and see what this is looking like. All right, so that is what we're after. Right there, you can see there's like that kind of golden brown look to it. It's not totally black, like it's overfueled, and it's not white, like it's underfueled. That's pretty much what we're gonna go for. Um, could be slightly better, but I mean, with these these little cheap motors, I mean, this is about what we're gonna get with these kind of carbs. Um, so, if the bike feels happy there. It feels like it's making way more power. So, I'm sticking with that, guys. If you guys are curious, I'll link the jets that I bought below from Amazon. Um, these are the main jets. These are the pilot jets. Um, they're very specific on the different numbers that they have, and that has to do with like head diameter, um, the thread pitch, the length overall, and then you can look in the assortment of what sizes you're looking to get. Uh, but that's all for now, guys. The bike is running great. Um, I'll be meeting up with David again soon, and we're gonna go over you know a new ride on these bikes and see how these mods have affected it, and then kind of compare his more stock bike to mine, which is now uh, intake, exhaust, and then the new car. All right, guys, that's it for now. Bye.